Hi, I'm Larry Karaszewski and this is Trailers from Hell. And what we got here is one of the greatest films of the 1960s. Cool Hand Luke, starring Paul Newman and directed by the underrated Stuart Rosenberg. Let's take a look. When I was 10 years old, this was my favorite film. How could it not be? Luke is the ultimate rebel without a cause. I love that he is arrested for a stupid crime. And there's nothing noble about this senseless, drunken act. He's just saying F you to authority. I think this is Newman's best performance, and that says a lot. He made some amazing films. The Hustler, HUD, Butch Cassidy, The Verdict. He's one of our finest stars. I'd put him up there in the top five of all time. Uh, with Cary Grant, Bogart, Nicholson, Brando. There's a sadness, a humanity to everything he did. And he's so damn good looking. He just owns the screen. This film is based on a book by Don Pierce, and the screenplay is by Mr. Pierce and the legendary Frank Pearson. Pearson could be the greatest living American screenwriter. He also wrote Dog Day Afternoon. I mean, come on, these are perfect movies about very difficult, complicated characters that don't take the easy way at any time. There are so many iconic lines and scenes in this film. Luke eating 50 eggs, having to spend a night in the box, the guard with no eyes, and of course, what we got here is failure to communicate. That one line does say it all. Society cannot communicate to Luke the necessity to follow the stupid rules of the system. Luke is one of the great anti-heroes, cut from the same cloth as Randall McMurphy in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. There are so many people who worked on this film that are icons in the industry. George Kennedy wins the Oscar for Best Supporting Actor, although Strother Martin is probably better remembered as the warden who gets to utter the famous line. Conrad Hall did the cinematography. He's one of the best DPs ever. He shot everything from In Cold Blood to American Beauty. The editor is Sam Osteen. I mean, this guy is a genius. He cut The Graduate, Rosemary's Baby, Carnal Knowledge, Chinatown, Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf. An unbelievable run. The music is by jazz great Lalo Schifrin. It's a lovely score. Unfortunately, one of its tracks got used as the ABC Action News theme for many years, so it's very disconcerting when it comes on in the film. Actually, the most memorable piece of music in the film is not by Mr. Schifrin. It's a folk ballad entitled Plastic Jesus that Newman sings while he strums his banjo after he hears that his mother dies. I got the Virgin Mary assuring me that I won't go Legend is that director Stuart Rosenberg kept requesting slight lyric changes from Newman right before he called action. He wanted Newman to mess up, to be tentative about the lyrics. It adds a realistic tension to the sequence. It's a powerful scene in a powerhouse of a movie. What we've got here is failure to communicate. 